Josiah Marshall, a senior supply chain management major from San Antonio, met his fiance, Madeline Spencer, through their time through the Gone Band from Raiderland. Marshall utilized their mutual love of music as part of the proposal. So after our first dating rehearsal, this girl walks up to me and I recognize her from my section and she says, hi, Madeline, but most people call my, I like to go by Mads. And she said, I'm afraid of the dark. Do you mind if you walk me home? I'm going, sure, why not? You're in my section and we can just like get to know each other. And so I kind of talked with her, you know, like put my feet in water, like putting out some feelers and found out that she had a boyfriend, but me being me, I'm, I'm not gonna be like, oh, we have a boyfriend, see, I'm like, okay, I have a boyfriend, that's cool. I can have female friends. I grew up with two older sisters. I'm used to being friends with females. After Spencer broke up with her boyfriend at the time, Marshall asked her on a date about a month later. In the second semester of their first year at Texas Tech University, they became an official couple. With Mads, we wanted, we wanted to see each other. We wanted to get to know each other and develop our relationship. At the time, I think I was gonna marry her. I mean, no, I mean, we're just kind of dating, kind of, that's the point of dating, to see if you like someone enough to keep seeing them. And I guess my charm somehow won over. <laughs> when did you first have that little thought in your mind that, man, this is the girl I'm gonna marry? Hmm, probably not until probably middle of junior year, I would say. Um, cause at that point she was at the health science center. I wasn't seeing her every day. Cause sophomore year we were both in talking ten and she was the floor above. So I would see her pretty much every day. And after like she got an apartment, we we're both got apartments and she started going to the health science center. And I really only saw her on the weekends. And after a semester doing that, it was, my mind was going, Hey, like, I'm willing to give up a lot of things just to go see her on the weekends. And I look forward to the weekends more than I think I've ever had. I've ever looked forward to weekends. And so that's when the gears kind of started turning in my mind saying, she could be the one. Once Marshall decided to propose, he had to choose when and where to do it. Marshall chose a place that the trombones call the Tree of Life, the place that the section hosts all of its section rehearsals. But before the proposal, Marshall had to ask Spencer's parents for permission. I talked to them a month and a half or so before I was gonna, when I had a date set of when I was gonna propose. Um, I wanted to drive down and talk to them face to face because I've got that like old Southern values where it's like, I'm gonna tell something to someone's face and I'll be like, hey, by the way, you know, just like have a straight conversation with them. Uh, we, we, they weren't able to meet, so I was just—I just had to call her dad and talk with him then. How was that? And it was nerve-wracking, of course, because um, you're asking for asking a dad for their blessing for their daughter, taking their daughter's hand in marriage. And he was understanding, gave me his two cents on the matter. Um, both a little bit good, a little bit bad. Some of the bad was like timing in terms of like what their family's going through, and so I wanted wanted them to be there. But I, wanted, I didn't want them to have to worry about anything. It's like, I'm gonna take care of it. Just, if you can be there, awesome. If not, I understand that you have other family commitments. Um, and so yeah, they were there, she was happy. And it was just a great time. We were in the sec trombone section together. And so what I did was talk to Andrew. He was senior. He was a very, very good friend of ours. And I asked, I pulled him aside one day, he's like, hey, I've got a request. And I asked him to make an arrangement of Marry You by Bruno Mars. And then I asked around 12 of our closest trombone friends to play in the ensemble that would play it while I proposed to her. So it was very kind of a close-knit, uh, tight group that we all knew, that we all had good friendships with, good relationships with. I originally didn't want to do marching band, and then when I did it, I was like, okay, maybe I'll like this. And then after the second year doing it, my sophomore year, I'm like, I am very much happy. I am very much enjoying what I do. I love the people. 